Nowhere in the Bible are we promised as believers an easy path. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, the Bible compares the Christian life to a race, not just a sprint. Paul refers to a marathon. This is the kind of race that requires preparation. It requires endurance. It requires some steel determination on the part of a believer so that you can stay in the race and you can finish the Christian life successfully. I'll read the scripture, then I want to leave you with three thoughts that will help us to stay in the race and finish the course successfully. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Every person's race is a little different. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him, that's Jesus, who endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. It's so important that we stay in the race as believers. And if we're going to stay in the race as believers, we're only going to do it, first of all, if we consider the saints. Think about the saints that have gone before us. This may be a pastor, a parent, it may be a spiritual mentor. I have a Sunday school teacher named Benny who's gone on before. He's with the Lord now. And the Bible tells us about the saints that they already have run their race. Their race is over. They are no longer in front of us modeling to us what the Christian life looks like. They've run their race and they have received their reward. No doubt, they're in heaven, they're rejoicing, they're with the Savior. These are the saints that make up this cloud of witnesses that Paul was talking about. And Paul says, we have this cloud of witnesses. I want you to think of them as the heavenly grandstand. They're cheering us on, they're cheering you on, and they're saying, run, run with patience, endure. You can do it, great job. That's what they're doing. They have revealed to us that God is reliable. When I think about my dad, who's now in heaven, when I think about uh, one of my pastors, Jack Kyles, he's in heaven now, when I think about some other saints who have gone before me, they now are in heaven. And if I think about their life, I can come to this one conclusion, God is faithful. They've run their race. They've shown to us God is reliable. Think about the saints and let that motivate you to stay in the race. But there's another thing that I want you to think about. I want you to think about yourself. I want you to think about the preparations that you need to make in order for you to be successful as you run the race of life. Friend, if you're gonna run a marathon, if you're gonna run any kind of race, you need to shed some weight. Now, I hate to say this, but a 400 pound man isn't ready to run a race. He's going to have to make some preparation. He's gonna to have to lose some weight. He's gonna lay these things aside that are superfluous that are not going to help him to run the race. Now, he's gonna to have to lay aside sins. Paul said the sin which doth so easily beset us. I don't know about you, but there's some things in my life that I have to work on and if I'm not careful, Satan will be after me and he'll try to derail me with sin. I know that's not unique to me, and I know that each of us have things in our life that we really have to work on. These are weights, these are sins, and then the Bible tells us we have to run with patience. Boy, when you're a mile or two in and you're running, your legs start to feel like jello, you start to get the side ache, your breath is coming quicker, your mouth feels like cotton and you say, I don't know if I can do this. And sometimes it's mind over matter. You have to tell your body, stay with patience. You can do this because we each have our own race to run. I want you to know, friend, we're not in a competition. I'm not competing against you. Oftentimes I'm competing against myself. God has a race for you to run. Your race is different than mine. Friend, mine is different than yours. 
But God put you in it, and He put you in it to win it. And you can do this. You run this race and guard your priorities. What are you doing? What are you doing that is contributing to your race? And what are you doing that might be taking away from the race that you are running? There's one more thing that I want you to think, not just the saints and not just self, but I want you to think about this. Consider the Savior. He's altogether lovely. He's the one who thought about the joy that he would have when he finished his race. Sinners came against him. They contradicted him. They buffeted him. They beat him. They nailed him to a cross. And Jesus said, not my will, but thine be done. And the Bible says when he thought about his own, he loved them to the end. Friend, I want you to know that our Savior was not a quitter. Don't be a quitter because of Jesus. Friend, Jesus didn't quit on you. You don't quit on him. Consider his race. Consider the reasons that Jesus ran. He says, I do always the things that please him. I wonder how often as we're running this race, we start to look at people around us. We look to the left, brother so-and-so. We look over here to sister so-and-so. And sometimes we forget to look up. Friend, we have a Savior to please. We have a Master who set the example for us. And our Savior left us the example. Don't quit. Stay in it. Keep on going. Friend, in a day when people are dropping left and right, consider Jesus and consider His reward. One day He's going to take us home. One day our race will be run. It'll be over. But I want you to know this. There will be no greater joy than you and I can have than to take not a corruptible crown, but to take that eternal crown and lay it at Jesus' feet and say, Jesus, I did it for you. It wasn't easy. The going was tough. Sometimes I didn't think I could make it. I fell down sometimes. Sometimes I got off the path. But praise God, by the grace of God, I made it and I finished it. And the reward is yours. What a great joy it is to be in the race. Don't let up. Don't shut up. Don't give up until you're taken up. We're in the race. Stay faithful.